prayer, um, a moment of conversation with God and hopefully a moment that is going to help us reflect on our lives and how we do things and how we treat others and what this represents in our life and how we can grow as human beings, how can we become better people and how we can share love and happiness in the world and specifically to those that we're closer to. So take a moment, take a deep breath and open your mind and your hearts to these situations that we're currently living through, these situations that affect our lives and the lives of, of those that we love the most. So let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God and let us adore Him. During this week we reflect a lot on social justice, being allies, being friends, being just good people, what it means to be equal, what it means to spread love and happiness. And today is not different. So for today I have a bit of a reflection for you. Think of yourself, of who you are, who your parent, parents are, where you were born, the color of your skin, the social class you were born into. These are things that are really important when it, it comes to like define who we are. Uh, we all think about our culture, our parents, our country, uh, the language we speak. But you know what? All of these things are things that we cannot control. It doesn't, it's not up to us where we're born. It's not up to us who our parents are. It's not up to us in which uh, social class we were born into. It's not up to us uh, what color our skin is. All of those things are things that we cannot control. They're beyond us. And somehow these are the things that define the most who we are, the opportunities that we have, who we work for, how others see us. So why not change this into how much effort we put, put into things, or how we develop our abilities, or the things that we can accomplish or uh, how many languages do we speak or our interests or the things that we like see the opportunities and how we see others should depend on things that we can actually control things that we can actually improve or grow not things that are just default and you know the biggest example we have of this is Jesus because for him this was a way to see people this was how he treated people so for him it wasn't about the kind of job that someone had uh, to him it didn't matter if you were a tax collector or a fisherman for him it didn't matter if you were born into a, cer into a certain family, if you were from a specific town or city. What mattered the most to him is what people did with the talents that were given to them. How much work they put, how much effort they would put into things how we develop, how people develop their talents and abilities, new skills that people would gain. These were the things that he cared about. Not the color of the skin, not the language they spoke, not uh, who their parents were. For his message was the same for everyone around. Leave everything behind and follow me. So this is the lesson that we need to learn from him. Don't pay attention to the things that you cannot control. 
that no one can control. But pay attention to those things that people work for. Our values, our experiences, our talents, our skills, abilities, those are the things that are gonna make you special and different. Those are the things that we should focus on. Bear with one another in complete selflessness, gentleness and patience. Do all you can to preserve the unity of the spirit by the peace that binds you together. So you see, in God's eyes we were created all the same. To him it doesn't matter which social clause you belong to or the color of your skin, or who your parents are, how, how much money do you have. For him it's about love, for him it's about kindness, for him it's about the effort that we put into things, for him it's about how we treat others. And when you look at these things, that's what social justice is about. And as St. John Baptist de la said, it is impossible to please God if you don't live in friendly peace with those around. So reflect on this, take your time to observe the information and then act on it. Look at yourself differently, look at those around differently and pay attention to the things that actually matter. Dear God, we pray for you to send your spirit so we can gain the knowledge of your teachings so we can appreciate your actions so that we, just like you can share kindness and love and joy to everyone around paying attention only the things that actually matter and leaving behind all of the things that we cannot control. Stay in your spirit so we can, we can find peace with one another. Peace so we can make our world better and our community is stronger. Leave Jesus in our hearts forever.